In this video, I'd like to introduce you to this DSET mapping boat. This is a uh, somewhat small but functional uh, mapping boat, which was uh, put together by uh, myself and also a company called Attract Lab, and also Shimane University, and a company called Lighthouse in Japan. This uh, boat is about 1.9 meters, 1.9 meters long, about 30 centimeters deep, but uh, a little bit less than a meter wide. Um, it's got, uh, it's an electric boat, so it's got on the back here a Torquedo 1003 uh, electric motor, uh, which puts out about 2 horsepower. Uh, in terms of batteries, there's two configurations. So, um, Arch Pilot supports either using the Torquedo battery, like this, this is a 1 kilowatt hour battery, and uh, with this you get uh, a maximum of about 24 kilometers, 25 kilometers range. Uh, the other configuration that we support is um, uh, external batteries. So I've got six Panasonic e-bike batteries that are loaded in here, uh, which gives it a battery capacity of about 2.5 kilowatts, and that gives us something like 70 kilometers, maybe 65 to 75 kilometers. Uh, the range depends a lot upon the speed of the vehicle. Um, some other things that are on this um, boat, you'll find that uh, we've got the flight controller and the steering uh, mechanism inside this waterproof box here. You can't see it from there, but uh, there is a cube gold in here. Maybe I'll put a picture somewhere in the corner. There's a cube gold. Uh, we've also got the uh, an interface board, an RS-485 to serial interface board, which allows the autopilot to talk to the, the motor or the Torquillo battery. We got a uh, Hearlink receiver that uh, obviously goes along with this Hearlink um, transmitter. This is what we use as the main uh, telemetry and also control for the boat. Uh, then we've also got, of course, uh, the uh, HEAR Plus GPS in there and a DAISY AIS system, which allows us to see where uh, man boats are in the area. Then, uh, in terms of sensors, uh, we've got the Hondex uh, HE8. HE8S sonar, which has um, a maximum range of about two meters or so. That's uh, so that data comes out as NMEA, and it's uh, piped into the autopilot. But it's also actually split along the way, and the NMEA data goes into a system called Isana, which is created by this company called Lighthouse, and uh, that's what this antenna is for here. So then that sonar data, along with some extra GPS data, goes off into the cloud, and that allows. Uh, real-time monitoring of where the boat is from from basically anywhere. It's also got this uh, little camera on the top so it sends pictures at about uh, 0.3 Hertz so once every three seconds it sends a, a live picture uh, uh, facing forward. And that is about it. Uh, from now on uh, we're going to be doing some mapping and uh, we'll give this boat a test, a real workout and make sure that it uh, lives up to expectations.
、そっちが取れてるから、そうだね、パスかな。そうそう綺麗ですね。すっと回りますね So I thought that the boat wasn't traveling fast enough, and then when I got it home, I find all this stuff stuck on it.
part of your business model. Like, oh, 